Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I went to the dentist and I said to him that I think my tooth is almost good. He wanted to know how it was doing and I said, well, I chew lettuce, but when I hit the little hard thing on the kale, I could feel my tooth and if I overworked that tooth, then I would feel the, the pain of it because it's like it's like a bruise that you're constantly banging on and it gets bruised so he had me chew on that that um carbon paper and he said and i told him i think the sides need to be ground down and when he after i chewed on the carbon paper he goes yep it looks like that's probably it so he ground it down and then he had me chew on it again to make sure that he had gotten it all. And he said, there's a little, few little light spots. So he took those down. And he said, well, see how this is. And I said, I will let you know in June if I'm good or I need more grinding. But um, everybody else that has had um, crowns that he has put on has had no trouble. I, mine, mine is the only one that seems to have been a difficult tooth. But it'll get better it's way better than it used to be i also had questions about my cutting board my rolling pin and my pie board so i thought i would share that with you my um i'll do the cutting board first only because it's on top <laughs> the cutting board i had used um a hammer and i tried to break one of the black walnuts and I had put a ding in it. Well, Jim had, he's, he's, um, sanded it, but he told me it took him four sand pads, pads because the oils within the board was clogging up the sanding thing, but it came out nice. It's real nice and smooth. Okay. That I will set over there if you'll take it. Thank you. My, my Vanna White of the show that you're never going to see. <laughs> Okay, um, then I'll do the rolling pins next because I have, I actually have, well, I have four rolling pins, but I didn't get the other one out, but that's okay because it's a different kind of rolling pin. It's a, it's um, one of those stone ones, the cold. Uh, uh, marble. Marble, yeah. I have one of those that I bought. I have never used it. I bought it for like, I think, 50 cents at a little auction thing, and it was, it's really cute. It's nice. It's decorative is all it is. Just more stuff. <laughs> stuff that I don't want to get rid of. Okay. Now the rolling pins, because I have three, but I only use one of them. I bought this one. And remember I told you I store it in a sock. And what you do is I just wipe it off with a paper towel. And and it's this one was spun from one block of wood. They, they made this one. And I bought this at an antique shop before I was married or just after I was married. It was after just after I was married I got it. And it was an antique then and I've had it for 40 years and it's and I'll show you one that's not seasoned so you can maybe see the difference. This is one that has not been used but it was spun out of one piece of wood too because when I was talking about rolling pins I was having a hard time finding one and my sister had this one made but this one I don't use and then there's this one oops it fell apart see this one was spun out of a couple pieces of wood and as you can see the glue has gone off of this one and this one would be like the one where the handles turn I don't like those that turn because you have really no control of the over the pie dough or whatever you're using. Okay, I'll put these away. Put the one back in the sock and you don't you never use water on it. You just wipe it off with a paper towel or another sock and then you stick it in the sock. Okay, now my my pie board, I'll stand up for this because it's big. The pie board was just a piece of plywood. I will show you the bad side. This is what the back looked like. It's lovely. My father cut this piece of plot, and this is the front. As you can see, it's been seasoned. And every time I make pasta on this, it would ruin my seasoning. Um, as long as I make pies on it, it's okay. 
but it's just a plain old piece of three quarter inch plywood, three quarter inch plywood. that my dad cut and because I've made pies on this and I never washed this either I just take um, I take a flat metal um, turner and I just push all the stuff off and then I take a paper towel and I just wipe it so that it keeps the keeps this I want these oils I want them on there because the pie does better if it has that but when I make pasta like I said which I haven't made pasta in a long time, but the pasta is, doesn't have as much oil. It doesn't have oil in it. I don't think it had any oil in it. And it would draw the oil out of my board and ruin my board for the pies. But that was something that I did. Now I feel like I've been playing with oil. Okay. Um, you want to take this? We'll hand that over to Jim. Okay. And then today, because I wanted something to put my cord for my iPad in, I, I think I, I showed you that I had been, I had made, I gotta unwind it a little so I don't unwind my stuff. Um, I had showed you that I'd made a little pouch for my iPad that would go in here. Well, I wanted to make something for my, for my cord because I don't disconnect it. These things, the teeth in them, they don't make them very strong. I think they get worn out if you pull them in and out. And I don't use this for anything other than it was used for my music when I was doing my walk classes. And that's pretty much it. But when I go away, I'm going to use it for my vlogging. If I figure out how to put it from here to the iPad, because the iPad's got a bigger um, screen. screen on it, so it makes it easier to to um, edit. And then, so I was making a wider pouch. It's not done yet. I've been working on it. It's not done. But um, and I use an itty bitty, itty bitty crochet hook. It's very small. So that's what I did today. I guess that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little different than some of the others, but I had questions about the the board, the pie um, rolling pin, the pie board, and the cutting board. They want to know how it turned out, and everything turned out fine. So, And my teeth, I think it's going to be okay, too. And I will talk to you all again tomorrow. My camera's kind of crooked. <laughs> I feel it. It's like I should be over here. When it's when maybe I can just turn it there. Now I feel like it's straight. It got off <laughs> whack. It didn't feel comfortable sitting in my chair. Well, that's it for tonight. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs>